Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Mr. Coffee 14 cup extra large capacity coffee maker. Model number BVMC-DC14BL1DK. This retails for $50. I was only able to find it on the walmart.com website. Okay, so I just unboxed it. This thing's big, but it looks very nice and modern. Again, 14 cups, that's unusual. Most coffee makers are 12 cups. That's a big carafe. It's pretty standard. Um, looks like, yeah, the lid comes off. You can definitely get your hand in there. It's got a warming plate. Nice display, we lift it up here. There's the brew head. It comes with a reusable filter, which you're probably gonna need. Um, I don't know if they make 14 cup paper filters. So you're probably going to have to use this great big monster filter. It's got a brew basket. That's a big brew basket. It's got some manufacturing stuff on it. You're definitely going to want to clean this stuff before you use it. And back there is where we put the water. It looks like it will accept a water filter, but this one did not come with one. It made it sound like it would, but there is a place right down there where you could put that new style Mr. Coffee water filter. Come around the side, just a two prong plug. Looks pretty nice. Cord, they did have cord storage. On this side, on the other side, the right side, it's got this window. You can see how much water you've put in. Pretty basic on the bottom. 120 volts AC, 60 Hertz, 1,100 Watts. And it's just got two rubber feet. Dimensions front to back is about nine inches. Left to right about seven and a half inches. Okay, so it will not fit under a kitchen cabinet. With the lid up, it's almost 22 and a half inches tall. Kitchen cabinets are around 19 inches tall. Kind of a short cord, only 24 inches long. So it did beep at me when I first turned it on. It's got a nice big display. So it does come with a pretty nice manual. It kind of talks about, walks you through. It talks about this advanced water filtration holder and cartridge, but mine didn't come with it. Okay, so Mr. Coffee is starting to improve their manuals. Their manuals sometimes were not the best, but these are really starting to be good. They're giving you actual measurements, teaspoons or tablespoons for coffee. When we brew 14 cups, we want almost 12 tablespoons. Talks about setting the clock. Okay, so let's set the time. Just come up here, hit the hour button. I like that clock. That's a nice display. It's got AM and PM. And then just set the minutes. And then it should memorize it after a minute. There's there. And then it memorizes it. That's a nice display. I like that. This is a nice finish too. I like this metal. This is pretty good for Mr. Coffee. So we have a strong brew button. We've got a one to four cup button. Now when we press that, it still brews whatever water you put in the back, but it just brews it a little bit differently to give you a pretty good tasting when you brew a small amount of coffee. Again, the clock, keep warm. We can adjust the keep warm from one to four hours. So you can't turn it off and the maximum is four. That's the warming plate. How long do you want the warming plate to stay on after you've brewed your pot of coffee. That's gonna stay warm for however how long you set that time for. That Once that time's up, so say you got it on two hours, after two hours of when you brew your pot of coffee, it shuts the coffee maker off, which is basically turning the warming plate off when it's done, which is good. So you, don't, you can rest, and, you, know, you don't have to worry, did I shut the coffee maker off? It's got a brew later button, which we're gonna talk about later. And then there's just a big brew now button. So we press that to brew our pot of coffee. I'm gonna get some coffee and we're gonna brew some coffee. Yeah, so it talks about wash the parts, fill the reservoir. They want you to run a cleansing brew. So they want you to put water in the water reservoir up to the 14 cup mark and then hit the brew now button and run that through the machine and then throw it away at the end. That's a cleansing brew. 
So you, you have the option of brewing whatever quantity you want. The minimum, if you brew below a four, you've got to hit this four button. But how much ever water we put in the back reservoir is how much it's going to brew each time. So if I wanted just an eight cup, even though this is 14 cups, if I just want eight cups of coffee, I fill it up to this eight mark, dump it in the back where the water goes, and then I'm going to put the corresponding amount of, of coffee grounds in. And they give us this nice chart. This is a very nice chart. So for 14 cups, which is the full carafe, 11, so basically 12 tablespoons. 12 cups, 9 tablespoons. 10 cups, 7.5. 8 cups, 6 tablespoons. So you can brew anywhere in between those two. I'm going to do the full uh, 14 cups. I'm going to go fill this up with fresh water. Ever wonder why coffee pots have this hinge lid? I think it's so you can fill them up with water easier. That way you can just shoot the water right in there. Okay, so we're going to dump the water. There's two big openings to dump the water in. Then we're going to put the coffee grounds in. But so the carafe is heavy, but it pours nice. It actually pours really nice. I'm not making a mess. Normally I make a mess when I pour the water in. You can see the window on the side, it's right at the 14 mark. That's a good judge of how much water you've got in there. So now let's talk about, there's your filter. This is called the filter basket. Now it's got a plunger in the bottom, that's called pause brewing. You have to make sure your craft has its lid on because when it's in, that's what pushes up that plunger. And when that plunger is up, coffee can come out of the brew basket. But when you take the craft out, it blocks it off and you can grab a quick cup of coffee, but you got to make sure and put this, put that back or this will overflow because it doesn't stop the flow of water into the coffee basket. And that little white plastic uh, ring will come off in the dishwasher sometimes. And then you got to put it back on. I've got videos on that too. So when we put this in, it goes one way. There's a little notch right there, okay? So make sure it fits down in that notch or the lid won't close all the way. If you don't have it installed right, you know, it's not going to close. The hot water is going to come out of here and it's going to saturate the coffee grounds. So go ahead and put, this is the filter. Now that's just plastic, but it's a really fine filter. Nothing on the bottom. So just put it in there. It's got a nice little handle. Yeah, you're going to put 11 and a half tablespoons since we're doing 14 cups. So you're going to use ground coffee. It'll just say ground coffee. It should be ground at a medium grind. This is for just like a normal drip coffee maker. There's what a medium grind looks like. So you're just simply going to put the coffee right here, right there in the middle, and I'm going to do 11 and a half of these. Okay, so I've got it in the filter. There's 11 and a half tablespoons. Make sure and close the lid. And then it's plugged in. You're simply just going to hit the brew now button. It displays that two hour is how long the warming plate's gonna stay on. Then it reverts back to time. So if I had the warming plate on for four hours, that would have said four hours. So it kind of lets you know how long the warming plate's gonna stay on. That's kind of different. I've never seen that before. But at least it goes back to normal time. Now this does have a strong brew. I didn't uh, do a strong brew, but I would have selected the strong brew before I pressed the brew now button. The strong brew typically just kind of extends the brew time. Um, you'll kind of hear it brewing and then it kind of pauses a little bit, brews and pauses a little bit. I do notice it tastes a little bit stronger, but I prefer just a normal brew. So this thing starts brewing coffee right away as soon as I press that button. Something I just found that has a clean. If you hold that strong button for three seconds, it says clean. So it must have a descale mode. So I'm just gonna take a sneak peek there's the brew, there's the hot water coming out. I'm trying to get the temperature of the coffee coming out. It's a little hard. About 150. One fifty four. I'm gonna try to get the coffee in the brew basket. Same, 160, 175, 178. 
180. I don't think I ever see more than 180. Yeah, about, well, there's 184. I did see 184. 185. Okay, so it's been about six minutes and we're just almost to the seven cup mark. So it's brewing about a cup a minute. That's about standard. So let's take a look at the coffee grounds. Ooh, it's getting pretty high in the filter basket, but we're not overflowing. That's good. So the water's coming down. Let's talk about pause brewing. If I want to grab a quick cup of coffee, I can pull this out. And see how that plunger comes down and stops the coffee from dripping? I can pour me a quick cup of coffee. Then I gotta put this back right away so I can it'll continue the brew. So it looks like it's got a purple tint, but it I don't think it does. I think it's just getting a reflection off of this. So let's do some more temperature. Yeah, 184 is about the most. I've seen. So it's not very loud, but towards the end, we're getting a little bit of popping from it. That's pretty standard. We, this is really hot, so be careful. You get some steam coming out the back, some steam coming up here around the display. It does get noisier towards the end of the brew. And so it never does overflow the filter. That's good. So again, towards the end, it gets noisier. You're hearing some more popping. That's all normal. Quite a bit of steam coming off the back. Now it's not quite to the 14 cup mark yet. There's still quite a bit that's got to drain out of that filter basket. Okay, so I sorry about that. I tried to catch it. It, it did two little beeps, it went beep, beep. And then it changed to keep warm. So the it's displaying the current time right now, but my keep warm light came on. So I, I really wanted to hear that. It's not super loud. I don't think it would be super annoying to dog. It's not like a beep. It's more like a buzz, like a bzz, bzz. Okay, so let's see how the coffee grounds get. Be careful, don't do this. This is gonna be a lot of steam coming up here. There's the coffee grounds. It, bre it brewed all the water that was in the back. Now the keep warm light is on and the brew now button is still lit too. So that, let, that lets me know that the warming plate is on. So let's, this is really hot, so be careful. That's a hot pot of coffee and it's 14 cups. That pours really nice. That slides in there really nice, I like that. That's a pretty hot cup of coffee, 170, not bad. Not bad. All right, so let's do some temperature checks. Ooh, that's a really hot warming plate. 30, I saw 370. Yeah, that 400, that, that warming plate is very hot, so be careful. So let's say you were done with your pot of coffee. You didn't want to wait for the two hours for it to shut down or whatever you had it set. You can just come up here, hit the brew now button. That will turn the coffee maker off and the warming plate. Now that coffee will get cold. Let's go over cleanup again. Be careful with this. There's just a lot of steam up here for a while. I do like this little handle here. You can carry that over to the trash can and it won't drip on you because of that. This also has a little handle, but we've got to either recycle those coffee grounds or throw them in the trash. So clean up, the carafe is dishwasher safe, the lid is, it just snaps on and off right there. It's very easy. Um, top rack of the dishwasher, but keep in mind that's a really big pot, but it does fit. And both these parts are dishwasher safe. And there's the filter. You're gonna reuse this every time. And again, there's that little plunger. And again, you may lose that little disc. It just snaps right onto that end. If that disc, if that little red washer or that white washer comes off, the spring and the plunger you'll find in the bottom of your dishwasher. Okay, so that reusable filter 
So normal coffee makers have paper filters. This one's got that reusable filter. You may see a little sediment in your coffee, something you may not be used to. Now, I'm not saying sediments are good and bad for you, but you may see just a little bit of sediment in the bottom of your, of your coffee. It, it's not coffee grinds, it's not like big coffee grinds. I didn't see any coffee grinds in here, just some sediment from using a, a like a, they call it a permanent filter or a reusable filter. Okay, so let's say you wanna brew a pot of coffee in the morning. The first thing you're gonna do is, you gotta put the amount of water in here you wanna brew. You can brew anywhere in between. Uh, you can brew a six, pot, six cup of coffee in the morning, 14 cup, anywhere. That's the amount of water you gotta make sure in here. Because so, when it starts, it brews whatever's back here. Then you're gonna put your filter in and the correct amount of coffee. Then this is just gonna sit. You're gonna close the lid. Make sure your craft is empty. I've got mine with coffee. I'm gonna be drinking this coffee. But make sure this is empty. Then you're gonna come up here. You're gonna hit this brew later button and it's gonna to change to the time. So first, hold on. Make sure your time is correct. This is, so when you first start, make sure your time is correct. This is the time in your house by pressing the hour and the minute. Now you wanna set it for, it's come on at five o'clock in the morning. So press the brew now button. Change this to the correct time you want it to start. Five, 10 a.m. If I want a strong brew, I'm gonna press that now. And then it's gonna change, that's the, that's the amount of hours, that, you saw that two hours, that's the time it's gonna stay on. I can change that here. By pressing that, I can go up to four hours. But, so my strong brew is on. When I go to bed, that light should be on. That's, and then don't touch anything else. You don't have to hit brew now, that'll start a brew now. So when you go to bed, make sure you've got your water in, coffee, crafts empty, and you the brew later lights on. So say you want to sleep in, you want to cancel it, just hit that button. Say the next day you want to check and verify the time and set it again, just press it once. It's going to show you the time in just a minute. It's going to say, okay, four hours is the, is the keep warm. And then the brew later stays on. Now it's programmed to start in the morning. So thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.